Welcome back to the Game of Thrones Wars, and unfortunately, I've, I've done some digging and found out that actually we can't get the Potion of Immortality or any magical-based things until, unsurprisingly, magic returns, which it hasn't. So, we're going to have to try and find a way to introduce magic back to... Uh, back to back to the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, I guess. And the most common way of doing that is opening a uh, dragon egg or successfully hatching and bringing back to life dragons. I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can do it, but I might be wrong about that. Maybe there are certain magical artifacts or something, but I haven't done much digging into that aspect of things. Just more about the immortality, that type of stuff. So, unfortunately, King Harren, the noble of the Iron Islands, is probably going to die a regular death. But a quite a noble death, though, to be fair. He's got almost 10,000 prestige, which is, which is pretty good. We don't have a very good heir, do we? That's very much the downside to our current playthrough here. We don't have uh, don't have much going on, unfortunately. All of our heirs have come out pretty bad. No brilliant, no uh, no genius. It's going to be the first non-brilliant character we've ever paid, played as. Bit of a shame. There is a possibility we could get good air. Seeing as we are... What are we? We're, we're 51. Two concubines. Let's just find a brilliant character to marry. And just hope that... This character can live another 15, 14, 15 years or so possible. He's only 51. There is a possibility we could try and get a, another child. So if we go for somebody who's also brilliant. So married, no. Uh, Diplorange, preferably. Alright, let's take a look here. So there's a white walker called Other. Who is brilliant and homely. Unfortunately, she is a white walker though. So, um... Oh, there are still white walkers kicking around. Okay, we won't worry about that. Let's sort by age and sort of head down to... The younger area. Alright, what have we got then? Prolific. That would be a very awesome... Like, prolific and brilliant would be an incredible combination. Just because we're going to churn out so many more brilliant characters if we do that. Uh, brilliant Commander Attractive. Here's one. Uh, Moel Greenroot. Spymaster of the Whispers. So we can't invite to court. They would have to accept a marriage. She is brilliant. She's chaste. A little bit of a downside. Humble. Brave. She's got a lot of good traits. So she does kind of like us as well. Um... We've got Red Priest here. They can't marry, to my knowledge. It's sort of act like monks in the base game. Nakani? She's a lunatic. Could be a problem. Again, brilliant though, so not so bad. Uh, what about you? You're pretty good. Mirman? Charismatic Negotiator. Solid. Again, if, we've, if we can get brilliant and something else, then I'll definitely be happy about that. Wise? So that's sort of the lesser version of Genius. Oh, she's pretty good. Alex. Brilliant. Just... Intricate web weaver, family person, diligent, she's got great stats. She's definitely on the list here. It's a real shame that there's only just brilliant and, and no other congenital traits. Maybe that's something baked into the code now, I think about it, because I don't think we've actually had... Oh, no, wait, we're brilliant at all, though, aren't we? Okay, never mind, then ignore me. Let's take... We'll see if we can invite you. Seeing as she is a designated regent, that's not an official council position, it's just a minor title, so we can buy a favour and invite her to court that way, assuming she will... Uh, Except as to buy a favour, she will. Hopefully she will now join court. Well, shut my mouth. Okay, never mind. Uh, we got brilliant, tall, prolific, homely child. <laughs> Promise? No bamboozles. Um, Rimolf. I'm going to name you Harren. Have we already got a son called Harren? We do, don't we? I wanted him to be Harren the Third. Oh, we've got Harag. We haven't. Harren the Third. And if, to make things even better, Allah has converted to Gilded Kraken. How is this possible? How the hell did that even happen? That's nuts. It's like the game's listening to me. We'll still invite her to be our wife anyway, because we could maybe get another genius child out of it. Anyway, let's get to court. Let's, uh, we could even marry her off to one of our other sons, just to ensure, you know, the line's staying alive. They've got good, good betrothals, good wives, that type of thing. I've actually betrothed a lot of them off, haven't I? Um, you're a genius, so you could go, potentially. What about our second youngest son here? She's a genius. Oh, was that the first one we actually checked? Sorry, let's check him instead. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to break this betrothal. I hope you don't mind. A little bit rude of me, but I found someone better for him to marry. Uh, it's arranging a betrothal between him and... Uh, what's the name? Alex. L-Y-X. There we are. All right, good. Now, I'm quite happy to keep doing that. If we get a lot of sons, keep you know keep the, the genius trait or the brilliant trait and then just try and get a lot of traits inbred. Into the family. Maybe maybe inbred is a bit too appropriate there. Homely is a bit of a shame. It's only a diplomacy minus one and attraction opinion minus five. Tall, prolific, brilliant. More than make up for it. That's incredibly good. Now because he's a... Oh right, Gilded Reaver. That's what's cutting into it. Okay, sure. Now what else do these give? Marshall plus one. That's going to cancel out a little bit of being Gilded Reaver. Sure. Prolific is an attraction opinion plus 15 and fertility plus 30%. That more than cancels out Homely. This kid is so good. 
What do we want to train him in? We're going to be doing a lot of warfare, but we've... I mean, realistically, we're already a very, very powerful realm. We don't necessarily need incredibly, incredibly good marshal to make up for it. Now, I think we'll stick him in Thrift for now, because Thrift, as we've, as we've found out so far, has been very, very good for us. I'll educate him because I feel like my character is good. We've got Patient, which is a great Guardian trait to have. You know, Family Person, he's going to like some more. Eridite and Shrewd, these are all great Family Traits to have. I've got high hopes for you, Haran. Putting the pressure on already. Now, what we're going to do then... Oh, shit. Did I give Kago's Folly to my other son, maybe? Prince Skeet, Prince Harag. Uh, what did I do with Kago's Folly? Maybe I can't grant it away. He's too young. I've got it equipped, which may be something to do with it. Can I grant it? What artifacts can I gift him? I should probably check. Okay, sure. Um, I think he obviously has to be an adult. Is more than likely before we can grant him Valyrian Steel, I imagine. Um, age is equal to or greater than 14. Okay, sure. So, we're going to have to wait till he's 14 minimum before we can at least grant that item to him. In the meantime, we can still send in some other things. Now, what have we got here? We've got a Collar of Pearls. We could definitely hire a Smith to probably make a better one of those. Engraved Sword as well. Golden Bracelet. So, anything we haven't got equipped, I'm basically just going to chuck at this kid. We'll make sure we've got the best ones equipped so far, though. So, we've got Golden Staff, which is quality 2. We haven't got very good jewellery, have we? Have we got a better... Look, we've got something equipped in the next slot. We've got Collar of Pearls. We've got two Collar of Pearls, so that's pretty good. The Grave Soul is quality one. Right, sure. So we've got the, pretty much the best ones we, we can have equipped, equipped already. So we'll send Haran the backups. So you, my son, may have the Breastplate Stretcher. Our our house's original royal armor. My king, Karovo Drogo, has been defeated. King? A Dothraki king. Oh, no, this is fine. Just, just the way they phrase it. Who was that? Karavo of Drogo. Oh, so he was actually the Carl, but he's been, right, surmounted, basically. I see. That explains why they call him not a Carl. That confused me then for a second. Sure. You can have the Collar of Pearls. Again, generally just whatever we can give this kid at this stage is best. Uh, the Arming Sword as well. Definitely couldn't hurt. And uh, we've already sent him. Have we sent him? A ceremonial weapon. Who cares? We could just send him everything and then have a smith make us something new. I'm more than happy to do that. Now, in theory, we could send him the Tyrell crown. The sound effects are really loud to me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slightly adjust that. They're really loud. Holy shit. Right, there we are. Something taking the edge off. Now, as I was saying, we could just grant him everything and have a smith make us something new. Because I have a feeling, with our current prestige, if we get enough gold built up as well... We could just go ahead and craft better things, rather than having to worry about it. So, um, I might just do that. So, what have we... We've sent in the scepter. I think we have to send him all of our jewellery to do that. Collar of pearls. Let's send him... Uh, oh, that is all our jewellery, isn't it? Oh, no, golden bracelets as well. There you go. Part of our duties, wisdom of the guild of alchemist is to pass on our knowledge, blah, 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 blah. But we can't become immortal anymore. So, is there much point staying part of the alchemist guild at this stage? Um... I mean, it's going to increase our learning. Oh, we can also create fake valuables. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's just for the valuables, to be honest with you. Just to keep bribing our vassals, things like that. Prince R.I.P. of the Iron Islands. How is it one son? Oh, this isn't even our son. This is our nephew. Right, I see. Horribly inbred. Foolish, energetic, lunatic. Oh, dear. Okay, there you go. He's got no stats and he's six. Yet my, my baby has, like, eight stewardship in comparison. It's a little bit game-breaking, I suppose. <laughs> All right, sure. Um... Can we now search for a smith? That's my next question. Uh, we do need to repair loan. Now, I've looked into obtaining the Dragon Egg event. So, it, it's based on just factors, as a lot of events are. If you're, you know, patient, kind, brave, ambitious, diligent, those type of things will increase the chance of getting a Dragon Egg. If you have the ambition, it basically makes it possible to happen. If not, it has a mean time of, to happen of about 75,000 months. Now, I'm not going to do that maths off the top of my head. That's a long time. That's a serious... What's that? Like 500 years or something like that. So, as long as we've got the ambition, it is a possibility. Having great traits will buff that up as well. Now, I don't know if cynical affects it at all. Being fire-obsessed, things like that, being part of the Alchemist Guild might give us fire-obsessed. That's where I'm hoping we'll go with this. Either way, we'll stick part of it. If you've got any tips for getting the Dragon Egg quicker, let me know. I'd be very interested to find out. I didn't realise we were in the middle of a rebellion, though. My mistake. Let's go and deal with that with our... Is this our retinue? No? Just levies? Is this our retinue? 
It is, right. I remember last episode I said, I'll build up a retinue before we start again. And then I forgot. <laughs> Seems pretty typical of these videos, eh? Okay, let's get these uh, let's get these guys over to the mainland then. Just so we can have them put down this rebellion. Oh, I'm going to have boats now. Genius. Excuse me, I need your boats. Thank you very much. Let's get you boys on the mainland. And then we're probably just going to blitz through the game for a while. Just, just sort of put our feet up, focus on managing the round, build up a load of buildings, make sure Harren Hall gets built, that type of thing. Whilst focusing everything we've got on our... What could be the best character we've ever had. And that's saying a lot, considering Harren is is incredible. Harren the second here. Um, are you worth taking into account? Nope, definitely not. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these uh, rebellions. Now, is that increasing our moral authority? What is the moral authority of our religion right now? Actually quite low. Most likely because... Lonely Light is not settled. I'm hoping by that it means, yeah, it means we've got no temple holding. I don't know why it says not settled. That's a bit weird. Uh, what are our other holy sites then? Sea Stone Hill is good. Yeah, Sea Grave is good. Storm's End. Right, okay. Is it worth taking that for the purposes of grabbing up a holy site? Actually, yeah, it kind of is. Because it would make converting a lot, lot quicker. Now, what are we looking at here? We could go to war with these guys. We went to them not recently, and we did beat them quite... It was a very straightforward war. So, what do we think? Should we start publicating claims on Storm's End? 14% chance yearly. Now, I, I would rather get some more of the Westlands first. Maybe force them that way and sort of conglomerate our own lands here. What can we do then? Donate to the guild. 50 gold for 100 esoteric knowledge. What do we need for these that... To be fair, we don't ever really need to donate to the guild anymore. So, I'm going to turn that off. Good. Does it repay a loan? What do we need for that? 1,250 gold. Oh, God. Yeah. Didn't take that into account. Did you, genius? Okay, let's switch to scholarship. Let's break up with uh, Lenora Terrell or this lowborn courtier. I'll break up with her. She still likes us, so it's not... We're not under any risk of our concubines assassinating us. Don't have a high admiral. God, everything's going wrong. Um, <laughs> we got the best son ever. And now everything's going wrong. Play a new courtier. Let's get a cell sword. Excellent, Sigrid will do. Actually, he will not do at all. He's, he's really bad. But, uh, wait, why can't we assign someone to be our high admiral? I thought it was just a stewardship-based, sorry, a marshal-based man. Huh. Let's not worry about it. Being treated with respect. That's just the first level, isn't it? Okay, nothing to really, nothing to really brag about. Oh, the war has ended. Right, there we go. I see, that explains a lot. My mistake. Arrange betrothal between my daughter and this random Dothraki. Absolutely not. She's going to be married off matrilineally to preferably someone with a good trait. Let's see. Uh, he's attractive. He'll do. Thank you very much. How old was he? Probably should... Oh, he's only 17. That's good. Right. And now we focus all in on our son. And now I owe Andrik a favor because I'm a, a drunken idiot. All right. Fair enough. So, Harren, 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 what else can we give you? We want to search for the smith. We do want to pay off our loan before I do anything else at all, actually. We're making a lot of gold a month, so actually it shouldn't take too long to um, to pay this off. We could go raiding. That would definitely help supplement the loan a bit. Let's do that. Let's raise the boats. Let's raise the troops. Get everyone embarked where we can. So, some advice if you've got way more men than you have boats. Don't merge your men until you've, you've got them all on boats first. That will fill as many boats as it possibly can. With the men you've got. Which still isn't going to be a huge amount. Because unfortunately you can't split armies from a particular holding. And as Pike can provide 70,000 men. And a garrison of 70,000. What on earth? And that's 20,000 heavy infantry as well. Holy shit. Well, either way. It's not a huge amount of men. That's actually a, an annoying amount of men to have lost there. Okay, sure. What we'll do then, we'll actually grab the men from the mainland. Those guys can stand down and defend Pike because they're part of the uh, levy there. We'll go pick up the men from the mainland. Why not? They can go raiding for a change. Now, we do want to try and get our Driftwood crown back. Seeing as I've been saying every episode, let's get our crown back. And never did. Where are our retinues? Um, no. We'll just merge them and uh, split the retinues off afterwards. I really can't afford your education, unfortunately. Uh, you're not anyone special, so I'm just going to say what you'll get the very basics. And, again, we'll arrange a matrilineal marriage for her. Someone with preferably a good congenital trait if we can find some. Uh, you're part of House Whore. I can't really marry you off to a member of House Whore. We've already got inbreeding problems, so I'm going to avoid doing that to some extent. This kid's fertile, but he's also zero. What's What age are we looking at here? Um, 15, gardener, house high tower, done. 
Like, legitimately, that's that's a good betrothal. Okay. Now, in theory, our retinues won't fit on boats anywhere. Where are our retinues? I just want to split off the retinues, but unfortunately, I'm short of digging through them. How many men have they got? We might just be able to pick them off that way. 4,000? It's probably that one then, isn't it? Let's just check. Yeah, no, that's our retinues. Right, good. One of our sons came out a brilliant commander, yet he's still got eight marshal. Prinsky, you are goddamn awful. Wow. Legitimately terrible. We might have to get rid of some children, unfortunately, because we are on primogeniture now, which is going to cause us a lot of issues. Um, shit, this is really bad. We could send him to the wall. We could plot to kidnap him and kill him off quietly. You know what? We're going to have to do it, aren't we? All of the following must not be true. Oh, you can't join the Cult of Story Wisdom if you have any piety at all? Really? All of the following must not be to piety equal to or greater than zero. Wow. Okay. Wish I'd have never left the Alchemist Guild then, having realised that. That seems ridiculous. Oh, all of the following must not be true. No, we still can't join it, though. That's really poorly phrased. That's also a really stupid idea. Almost every character in the game is going to have greater than zero piety. I don't understand why they would do that. Well, never mind. Okay, sure. We just won't join any societies. Now, I'll go back to the trade guild. I'm sure we've got some things we can sell here and there. Would also help us pay off our debts, I suppose. Um, we will educate you in uh, diplomacy, I guess. Sure, why not? Now, if we really wanted to make a game, as we're trying to kill these kids off, it'd be better to train them in something they'd be really bad at so people dislike them. Or don't like them as much, I should say. Uh, you're still not getting anything from me, either. Alright, are the boats filled this time? Perfect. Right, that's a good fleet. We do want to lead some troops ourselves here. I was saying that I'd rather stay at home so we can train our kids. We don't have good enough marshal to really warrant leading troops, either. Of course, we can't force our children to train if we're off leading armies, so that's good. Right. What do we want to head up to? We want to head up to Moat Kaelin and try and get back our crown. I assume it's still there. It is. Driftwood Crown along with all these other cool things. I'm going to grab those. Oh shit, that's not good. Cancer? No, 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 no. We need to wait 14 years to train our son. We've got a lot of sons to kill off as well. Maybe we should start work on that. I'm so annoyed that you can't join that society if you have greater than zero piety. That's a really dumb system. Huh. They should do it really like the base game. Where you need one sin and one uh, one sort of unjust trait. And also not having kind, honourable, just. Or maybe adding it so you can't join if you're, you know, patient or diligent or things like that. That's just really annoying. Okay. Well, we can join the other society. When is that? Oh, in two days. There we go. Oh, we, even, we can't even join that either. Because we have shitty stewardship. Could switch over to business focus, but I've just changed to scholarship to see if that can do anything for us. Can we even build an observatory? Apparently not. Why can't we build an observatory? Do you have to do it from the hospital on this? Because there is a building in the hospital called... I guess not. Have we already done it with this character? I have genuinely no idea. They've changed so much in this mod since I last properly played. I'm, I'm a bit lost, to be honest with you. Oh well. Um, no chance of treating my symptoms. I guess we're on our way out then. Did I mark this Raiders? Oh, thank God for that. Right, Mo Kalen. Hi, I'm here for my crown again. You might remember me. And it is cancer. Oh, shit. That's not good. Uh, health minus 2.5. We've got, what have we got? We've got uh, nothing that actually boosts health at all, have we? Have we got any artifacts that boost health? Definitely not. Right. This is an issue. Yeah, this is a real issue. Uh, he's only 16. Maybe when he's 18, we can send him to the wall or something. What about our other sons? Can we send those to the wall? Um... Send Prince Harry to the wall. He's betrothed. Break the betrothal. Ship him off. Break betrothal. Send him to the wall. Who else we got? Hake. Send him to the wall. Get out of here. Who else we got? Arla. Break betrothal. Don't care. Send him to the wall. Force him to... Can we not send him to the Citadel or something like that? Maybe he is just too young. Maybe they have to be above 12 or something like that. Master Galadon has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains there are several different types of treatment. My life is in your hands. Go for it. Feel amazing. Successful experimental treatment. Awesome. Best outcome we could have hoped for. It's also given us enough... Oh, not quite enough stewardship to join the trade guild. That's pretty funny. Okay. 
Sure, well, we'll take some time to siege down Moat Kaelin there. Now, how many sons have we dealt with then? Let's have a look at succession now. Ski, Norn, oh, Norn? Who's Norn? Who the hell is Norn? Harag, Yusilla, Thesa, Haig, Ala, Harren. Who is Norn? Norn Hor. I'm going to have to find out who you are. We're on Primo, so I don't see why it wouldn't just be my sons. Norn? Norn Hor, there he is. Prince of the Alba, my grandson. Oh, of course. He's a hunchback, but he's wise. Well, can we kill him off? Kidnap him? 60% chance. This always happens. You know, I'm, I'm really sensing a trend. When we get to the end of our character's life, we generally tend to turn to a bit of a tyrant, eh? Right, okay. Now, why am I kidnapping rather than killing him? Well, we can kidnap, we can kill him secretly once we've kidnapped him. Um, must have chance of being found out, and I especially don't want Kinslayer either, and I especially don't want Tyrannical or Dishonorable or anything like that. He's got a Spy Master to help out. You're already building a Spy Network. Let's move you over. Uh, wow, 22. Holy shit. Let's move you to Pike, build up the Spy Network. Here's some gold. Don't like sending out gold when we still owe loans, but there we go. Should be able to make some money back from this anyway. You finally meet with Green Grace Tazara for the wealthy woman from Bakeshaw who wishes to purchase one of your slaves. Sure. 40 gold coins. Thank you. Appreciate it. We must proceed with the plan. 54%. We've only got a 17% chance of disaster. as 1 in 5. More or less. Roughly 1 in 5 chance. None of the... None... Non, I thought I said none. Wow. No one surprised the kidnappers with the ferocity of his struggle. They were forced to flee, but no one is aware of the assault. Awesome. The friends... Prince Nils Hor has been imprisoned? Oh, shit. My friend, really? Why are we friends? Maybe we... Maybe we educate him. Oh, he's also really, really good. My brother. Brilliant tall... Maybe we should get off of Primo, you know? Second we we were back on it. I'm tempted to leave, because it's already causing us issues. Um, no, no, no. That's part of CK2, though, isn't it? Killing off your ass so you get a better one. That's just how the game works. All right, what can we do? Repay loan. Awesome. Well, that's that Damocles gone. Uh, compose a book. Why have we not been composing books all this time? Why don't we write something? Uh, we could write the Chronicle of My Family History. It makes your family like you more, assuming you have the book. Could be useful. Something educational would give us more learning. Maybe allow us to rise up through the ranks of the um, of the Alchemist Guild a bit more. Managing around, obviously stewardship. Maybe we can get how to build a well, but I'm pretty sure the Game of Thrones mod takes out all the, the base game books just because obviously thematically they don't fit. I'm going to try the managing around one. Just because it, you know, stewardship is always useful to have no matter what sort of ruler you are. All right, we're about to see you remote, Kaelin. We got triumphs and defeats. There's no one of value here. We also got Bejeweled Dagger, Ceremonial Axe. Well, some of those were pretty good, actually. Um, let's take a look at Ceremonial Axe, Quality 1. Bejeweled Dagger, Quality 2, Monthly Prestige. So, do we want Vassal Opinion Plus 1 or Prestige at this stage? I'll take the Prestige, thanks. Both pretty useless. Unfortunately, it now means we can't search for a Smith or Jewelry again, unless we get rid of this shit. Um, what can we do here? Host a Feast. We could. Now, it should increase our prosperity, yeah. Hold a summer fair. We might want to mark this as special interest. Okay, we, no point going reaving at this stage, is there? So, treatment from illness, we definitely want to mark that as special interest. Yeah, that's pretty much all we want right now, I think. We Yeah, we hold jewels, so that's a shame. Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Let's not worry about it. We've got bigger things to worry about before we start off. Now, do we want to pay 115 gold to keep our flagship Lord Paramount Gl Grim in the fleet? It's been here for a long time. Harag Grim the Parasite, of course. The man who... Was he the one that overthrew the Republic? I have a feeling he was, wasn't he? Either way. Oh, no. no I Fred was the one that overthrew the... I can't believe we played as an absent-minded blind man. Wait, absent-minded rather than blind? Was he not blind? Hence why I called him no I Fred. Who knows? Maybe the traits are fucked up a little bit. Anyway. She must be kept in the fleet. I agree. We've, ha we've had this in the family for too long to just chuck it away now. Take this very meager amount of gold just because we can just immediately seize through it. Uh, I'll allow a duel between whoever. And how much gold is that giving us? Only 79 gold. Let's head to the Iron Throne and see what they've got. King's Landing. Decent amount of gold. Very unprotected because they are wildlings. So probably can't use half the buildings in their capital anyway. Targaryen Dragon Skulls. They've actually put them back. Interesting. Okay. Crab's Pincer. Wait. Crab's Pincer. 
Crab's pincer. Crab's pincer. I feel like some of the Valyrian Steel events might be a little bit broken. We saw that at the start of the game when Ice, the Valyrian sword of, of House Stark, uh, uh, was marked as just a trait rather than an artifact. Weird. Now, Storm's End, surprisingly undefended considering the amount of loot they've got. Let's go by the economy map, rather. Now, obviously, having the Trade Guild mod, I've never thought about this before, but having the Trade Guild mod is really, really good for us. Not because it's, uh, it's a great mod and the dev's a nice guy, but actually because it's going to add a lot more loot to the world just in general. A lot more places are going to be, have prospering economies. Like, look at this, compared to what it normally is. Even the Dothraki have like, these bright green provinces, which you don't normally see in the base game. And what that means is a lot more loot for us to steal. So let's take a look here. Unfortunately, it's a, kind of a downside to it is I don't know the most valuable provinces anymore because they're all valuable. We could always check the Merchant Republic, see what they're like. Uh, what about Pentos? Not terrible. Tarsh is actually really bad. Lease is pretty bad as well. Uh, Bravos has a lot. Bravos is, is very rich. Let's head up there then. And I imagine they've also collected a decent amount of artifacts. Yeah, ivory, silver, and gets it again. Part of the Trade Guild. Really buffing things up. It, it fits really well into the Game of Thrones mod as well. It, it does suit it a lot, seeing as a lot of vessels at this stage are Merchant Republics. So it, it, it does make sense thematically. Quite some Bravosi. Not many, though. Press some vague promises. And let's see just thing down. Bravos really has that high a fort level? It's a city. Oh, I suppose they've got the Titan, haven't they? Titan of Bravos. Fort level plus 10. Yeah, no, that would make sense. Now, my, my Master of Coin, Lorenza, my my sister. She's very good. Stewardship 17. Um, Unfortunately, all my other council members wanted her gone because she's arbitrary. Sure. I'm sorry. I mean, you're still going to like me at the end of the day because you're my sister. You were very good. Maybe we can hire a different steward from out of the realm because our current stewards are pretty terrible. Let's go join court. Yes. Uh, Ashara. She's an ironborn. 15 stewardship. She is really the best one we've got. In fact, she's pretty much the best one in the world at this stage. That would join our court, at least. All right. New Lord Treasurer there. Awesome. Oh, shit. It's the wrong one anyway. Who cares? It's not a really big deal, I will admit. Let's go and collect some taxes. Sweet. All right. So I've got really bad hiccups today. I'm dying from it. I'm Ka King. Harold the Noble has inherited the Lordship of Storehouse. And one thing I wanted to talk about was that um, he had, what's that, th three children? Um, Trowel Me, I think, is best. She's the oldest. She'll do. Now, one of you let me know that the Towers of Harrenhal count as military appointment. And the way military appointment works is very similar to vice royalties from the base game. So that when you grant them away, you will essentially... I imagine this was original Soulborn that wrote this comment, but I don't remember off the top of my head. You essentially gain it back when they die. So it's very, very useful just for granting out temporary domain. We can really just give it to anyone and it doesn't really matter too much. We probably don't want to hold them ourselves. Well, we might, actually. When they're, when they're not a ruin anymore, we probably want to take them back. And obviously, as the their, their courtiers will die, the, the people who hold the towers under military appointment will die, we'll get them back very easily. But I suppose it's it's sort of someone you can give it to easily, that you can take it back from easily. Uh, do we want to take you? You haven't got any congenital traits or anything good, so you can go. Goodbye. Are we even going to be able to siege Bravos? We're losing a lot of men very quickly. And the siege is not going well at all. Wow, this is a slow siege. Holy shit. My son died of poor health. Not a problem. How did... Wow. So poor health is an event that will just randomly fire. There is a chance, depending on their age, to drop down dead. Randomly. Incredibly low chance. Now, now it, the real chance for dropping down dead from this starts at the age of about 61, I think, is, is when it becomes significant. At the age of 17, the chance of that is incredibly low. I wonder if maybe it's something to do with, with living as uh, in the Night's Watch on the wall or something like that. No idea. Either way, well, that's one of our sons dead in a very easily way, easily done, I should say. Can you go to the wall now? Off you go. Bye. So we've only got one son to deal with now, and our grandson, obviously, we've still got... Uh, Harren is still fourth in line. Did you have another son? Oh, you shit. You know what? You've got to kill the weed. You've got to go for the root. Let's get rid of Skeet. Nobody likes Skeet. He's rude. He's lustful. He's proud. He's ambitious. Nobody likes him. Let's get rid of him. And you know what? He's actually in a foreign court as well in Dawn. 
Which is probably why people don't like him at all. Right, let's kill him off. Goodbye, Ski. Oh, his, his own wife wants to join the plot. So that, that's making my life a lot easier. Uh, are any of you drunkard or anything like that? No, no, no. These guys are pretty good. Welcome to the plot. Let's get rid of him. We'll move our spy master down there as well just to help expedite things. Where, where, where are they? Uh, the elbow. Next to Starfall, which is uh, House Dane. Uh, where is our spy master? Off you go. Is it still House Dane? No, House Sugdale. Well, what happened to House Dane? Oh, they're here. I haven't got anything left. Do you still have Dawn? A lot of you, no, nobody uh, wanted me to take Dawn. People complained when I threatened to go ahead and steal that. Uh, Prince Thassa, yep, you can get married. Ironically, it's our daughters now keeping the family alive, seeing as I'm trying to kill off. I thought there was a Confederate flag there for a minute. Wow, trying to, seeing as I'm killing off, you know, all of my sons. Now, because they have the trait Scholar, we can compose a better book. Fifty-six percent chance of success. Do it. My king is high-ranking heir of House Hightower. I would not marry Princess Thesa Hoare. You fuck. Walter Hightower broke my betrothal. Very unhappy. Well, he's now in my court, so uh, you can leave. Goodbye. Wow, we're going to have to find a new a new arrangement for our daughter then. So this one is unmarried. Let's find her a new marriage. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll find you someone better than that. What about you? You're also unmarried. Matrimonial marriage. Is there anyone at all with good congenital traits? Preferably not of House Hall. All the brilliant people are of household. We're just going to have to invite people to court, unfortunately, and, and hunt them down. I'll do that between episodes. Keep the family alive, you know? Skeet surprised the kidnappers with the ferocity of his struggle. Like father, like son, I guess. We could go for the straight assassination. We could even afford, to be honest, face this men at this stage of the game. Lordship of the Feast Fires. Awesome. Good work. So the Feast Fires is the current capital, isn't it? Oh, no, they've moved back to Castle Rock. Right, let's move you up then. We'll take case. What have we got then? Bane Fort, Castle Rock, Feast Fires. Where is the Bane Fort? Is that not... I thought that Banefort was in the north, I'll be honest with you, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, Banefort? Oh, it's this one, right. Oh, I remember. We had that, and they went independent, didn't they? For some reason. We were declaring a war for that claim, and then they basically said, no, I'm not part of your war, and got to, got to remain independent, which was a bit stupid. So what we need to remember to do before we die as this guy is definitely press our claims. Cancer 55 might be worth even doing that now. 32,000 men versus our 76,000. Wow. That's even with people off raiding. Huh. Well, let's finish our raid on Bravos first, seeing as we are getting there. Let's build a fort just to help mitigate some of the attrition I assume we're taking during the winter. Ooh, a merchant specializing in rare books and scrolls. The Edge of the World. What does that do? That sounds pretty cool. This must be how the NPCs are getting all their books. We've got a lot of books right now. Holy shit. The Edge of the World. It's Kagossi Opinion plus three. Sure. Trans and Defeat, Stormlander Opinion, Conquest of Dawn, Dornish Opinion, Ironborn Opinion. I really want stats or prestige. You know, boosts that aren't just opinion with particular cultures that are going to hate us anyway. Hmm. Alright, that's pretty cool. Explains a lot. Uh, this... You're a deer. This deer wants me to fund her wars. Absolutely not. How are the Mountain Clansmen doing? We're still under like a more or less a... Uh, more or less a wildling throne. It's House Corbray have taken back the Vale from the Wildlings. There are still a couple kicking around, so we've got some tribes here and there. Robar Baratheon of the Mountain Clansmen. What has happened? <laughs> we've got, uh, of course, Riverblood, who's now Faith of the Seven. No longer Wildlings, but they are still tribal. I guess some things, uh, some things they can't kick. I think it will come back to normal eventually. I think, look, Beyond the Wall is being kicked out. Very little left. We could even try and uh, restore the Night's Watch on them if we wanted to. Interestingly, Skagos is now converted to to a kingdom. The Sellsword Infantry. Kingdom of the Sellsword Infantry. I guess they didn't pay their loans to some mercenaries and they actually lost the war to them. Weird. Some really weird things happen in this playthrough. Alright, well, honestly, I'm tempted to pay for that faceless man to kill off our son. Uh, where is he? Let's change to a murder plot instead. Oh, we can actually only kidnap him. Really? That's a bit annoying. Uh, I could invite him to a court, make him easier to kill off, I guess. Him and his wife, I guess, don't like each other. Proposed foreign tour, forced to train, grant a kingdom, mercenary company. Now we can try and kidnap him. We've got a much higher chance now. Oh, I've lost my feelings for my concubine Leonora. That's a real shame. 
Holy shit, that's a huge plot. What about you? You worth it, Rymouth? No one wants to buy you. Someone's born to Hrolf, son of Craig, and Princess Yasilla named Dennis Hoare. Unfruitful, foolish. Great, good one. Just what I wanted in my family. The city sprawl on Pike is ridiculous at this stage. We built up so much. What are all these icons here? Alcohol shipment, silver shipment. Oh, right, okay. It's because, again, as, as we found out in the uh, other series, that the uh, the icons are definitely being messed up by one of the mods I've got enabled. Curtain wall. Levy size plus another 10%. That's going to give us essentially 8,000 troops for free. 66% chance this time. Let's do it. We got him. Now he dies quietly. Lose the trait kind. 33% chance of getting ruthless. 100% chance of no one discovering who killed him. At age 18, your son, Skeet Whore. There we go. My son, Skeet Whore. And just a private funeral. I've gained Cruel. I've gained Ruthless. I now have a new heir. Prince Norn of the Elbow. Prince Norn. Can uh, Prince die? Same thing again. I mean, we've got equal chance for murder as we do for kidnap. And we've got a, almost a guaranteed chance of getting away with it as well. So we'll definitely do that. Call a great council. We can do that. And we can determine an heir, essentially. I don't want to do that because they might basically force me to play as a character that's crap. So kill him off. My friend deserves a funeral. 44% chance. You know what? I'm going to roll the dice. We did it. Now he dies quietly. 21% chance of being discovered. We got away with it. I think we got away with it because it doesn't say was murdered on the orders of King Harren. Now who have we got? Prince Benarian. Kidnap him. Same thing again. Let's kill him off. 70% chance. My king, I'm pleased to report the successful siege of Bravos. Uh, take them all. Bring them to my dungeon. And we looted it for 240 gold. That's a lot as well. Now we dies quietly. 79% chance. I've no one discovering it. I think we're good. I think we got away with it. Prince Harren, my son. We've done it. We've we've done it. This is exactly what I wanted to do with this episode. Was to set up an incredible amount of, of uh, murders and deaths. So that we had the succession in line that we wanted. Oh, thank God. Prince Harren. The great. The powerful. The, the brilliant, the tall, the prolific, the homely Prince Aaron. <laughs> awesome. My king, I believe Joris Demitis has been in your custody for too long. I accept your offer. Do we want to continue the siege of Bravos? I imagine the King's Palace would... Yeah, the Sea Lord's Palace were never going to siege down. Let's get out of here. Let's take our gold. How much did we get out of that? Holy shit, 516 gold. Not including the instant sieges that we... The instant coin we got out of that. Bring it back. Bring some prestige. We could metagame this and actually keep a boat full of prestige and gold kicking around so that when we play as our next heir, we can dock it immediately and give that character a bunch of prestige. Actually, not a bad idea. No, stay in my custody. We'll actually just manually ransom all the prisoners. Thank you very much. Uh, Lordship of Case. I will take Case. Thank you. And let's send that gift to our... We'll send a gift over to our Master Lord here because he's doing such a good job of awarding me honorary title for court jester. No, maybe not. Okay, we got Case. Let's take Morn Hill. We've got to find a balance here between getting as many claims as possible so we only have to declare one major war versus risking dying. I think we'll go for Morn Hill and then we'll leave it there and actually go for a major war. How much longer can we live? 56 with cancer. Risky. How old's our son? Four. We do need to live another 12 years minimum. Minimum. Ideally, another 14 years would be awesome. Old Stone's converted to Gilded Kraken. Damn, we're getting a lot done. We're hustling. Let's go for... We need an, a high level of Castle Town, which needs patrol posts, which I believe is this one, isn't it? Yeah. Level 2 of patrol posts. Castle Town lets us build up those uh, those ridiculously overpowered... Uh, what is it? The Emperor's Palace, Curtain Walls, that type of thing. My son, who's at the wall, will not be educated. I really could not care less. And let's go for Curtain Wall again. <laughs> Levy is ridiculous. Look at this. What have we done to this? Pike is just, I imagine, skyscrapers of barracks. Just constant troop training and drilling. I'm not even sure that island has room for 100,000 men. Let's improve holding. No, I didn't mean to do that, did I? I meant to, uh... What did I mean to do? I think I wanted to pacify province, maybe? Something that increases... Was it levy reinforcement? Yeah, levy reinforcement. There we are. I wanted to pacify that. My mistake. 
Perhaps a new friend is just what I need. Anyway, we've achieved everything I wanted to. We're now intimidating as well. Awesome, why not? Because we're cruel and ruthless, I guess. Thank you for watching. Next time, hopefully, the god, Harren of the Iron Isles, can become an heir that's worthy of taking over from us. And we actually survived long enough to see him do exactly that. Nine stewardship at the age of five. Unbelievable. See you next time.